Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Stylesetter and today I'm joined by Alicia Apple. And because it's Halloween, we'll be playing the new horror game from Supermassive Games. It's called Little Hope and is part of the Dark Pictures anthology series. Join us for this spooky adventure now. Roll the intro. Let's go. Oh, what's he reading? Probably a horror book. <laughs> Is this a school bus? Looks like that. But no school sign, right? That's a bit late for a school bus to be driving around. Maybe that's just a driver on his way home. Maybe he decided to use this bus for his own purposes. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe he decided to catch some. Oh, I some. think there are people inside the bus, right? Maybe. It didn't look like it when he started driving home. The bus was completely dark. So he, in the morning he works as a school bus driver and at night <laughs> he catches a lot of um, drunk uh, teenagers <laughs> and help them to get to the homes, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> he seems nervous. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting That's all traffic through Little Hope. Oh, diverting traffic you through Little okay, Hope. Buddy. You seem a little confused. That can't be good. Yeah, no, fine. I just want to get these folks to Looks like he knows something about sure Little Hope. That's too. why he... Yeah, he's really nervous about going to that place. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Probably that's a fake policeman and he's trying to get people to Little Hope. A ghost policeman? Maybe. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. So, there are people inside. Yeah, it seems like it. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. <laughs> just a detour. It's all okay. Oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? <laughs> that didn't go well. It reminds me of uh, the film Man in Black. Bearing updated. The little girl. The little girl stood on the road, caused the bus driver to lose control and crashed the bus. All right. So what did you want to say about Man in Black? So I guess in the first part, the main character goes to this uh, agency to get a new job mm -hmm. and he had to shoot to mm -hmm. show his ability yeah. of shooting 
and so, oh and he shot the little girl yeah, right because yeah. he said it's it's strange it's, yeah it's the most suspicious person in that <laughs> training area yeah. come on sweetheart i do i just had a rough day today can you believe they are at each other again i can you're drunk what a surprise I just caught the game with the guys, <laughs> honey. That's it. That's For a second, I thought she's this telling the little girl that she's drunk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Oh, so... Don't you get how they're all the adopted. Yeah. The factory That's situation interesting. is serious, Anne. Real serious. So... Not right now. Isn't it really popular in America to have to like a foster, foster home? Family. Yeah, a yeah. foster family, right? So Not maybe they get some no way. some su government support or something for taking on those children. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Give her a break. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. Oh, my character is Will, the actor he Will Poulter, week. right? From Maze Runner. A little bit. Dark Pictures. I like him. <laughs> Alright, yeah. No, I not Dark Pictures, funny. but Black Mirror. That's mm. what I mean. He didn't let her watch TV. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will you? Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. <laughs> okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? Because she's our sister. Quite a big family. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's the been usual. Drinking. He's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine. I mean, he's doing no harm to anybody. It's just one box. It's crawled up his ass. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Do you want to play a game? Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Oh, she's walking around barefoot and all the others are walking in their shoes. Can you believe that? Hey! Quit acting crazy! Ooh. <laughs> that little girl is is super creepy. Sweetheart? I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. 
I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. I don't think she'll forget that. No, <laughs> she has the key. So what is she gonna lock? Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. Her it's foster ma mother into the bathroom. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Probably better to leave Megan alone. As her big sister, it is my sworn legal duty to check in on her. <laughs> right, sure. Like you're the law around here. She went upstairs. I'll go find her. Let's make a cup of tea. Oh, it's the same as in the last dark pictures. I don't like it. Yeah, in the last game it was really hard to get these right, but now in the tutorial it's still fine to do because it's going slow. Oh, he wants to turn off the TV. <laughs> or maybe uh, turn off uh, the sound? I thought he wanted to steal the beer. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Can't imagine why. Growing up with such a great and supportive family. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. <laughs> Number one, Dad. Sure, I am. Oh, we can walk around. Okay. Check on Tanya. Tanya went upstairs, right? Mm hmm Let's see. Hey, Tanya. You up there? How's Megan doing? Don't know. Haven't seen her yet. Keep it down, will ya? Trying to sleep here. Now you've done it. Oh, she's probably way. working in some Forget kind of restaurant or something, Relax, right? I'm she has a nameplate with her name on. Do me a favor. Quit yelling for a couple of minutes. House could use some quiet. Sure, no problem. Not another sound. Place is crazy enough without your two <laughs> cents. It's all the noise about anyway. Just checking in with Tanya and Megan. This reminds me a bit of the dad from Detroit Become Human, right? Mm -hmm. He was sitting on the couch drinking his beer and commanding everybody around. My, I eat my cross. <laughs> Shroud? Out of Innocence. I've seen this book in the other Dark Pictures game. Which one? Man of Medan. Mm. Oh, New England Witch Trials. Are they reading this for school? Look, looks, look like a ghost. Oh, yeah. A Little Hope Museum. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, 
Right. Anthony, where the hell are Whoa. you? Anthony, where are you, God damn it? Who's Anthony? Anthony? I'm getting really pissed off. Is that her boyfriend who brought her there? Anthony, I swear it's Maybe another right. boy. Yeah, why would he she be looking for him? I think so too. Hmm? Oh, Tanya. What's that? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back uh -oh. in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. I think she wants to kill everybody. I think this is GG. You in there? The whole kitchen is burning already. The kitchen's on fire! Are you fucking serious? Megan! And he's sleeping again? <laughs> Oh, the ladder fell down, right? Where the hell is everybody? So you can't get out of the attic. Damn it. Oh, yeah, and she locked her in, so she couldn't escape. Anthony! That's really devious of her. What the fuck are you doing up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! He's entering. Yeah, why, why isn't he doing anything? He could uh, bring the window. No? Yeah. Hey, Dad! I can't breathe! This is game over for him. <laughs> and she's just standing there watching how he dies. That was brutal. should we save? The oldest one. Yeah, I'm not gonna save Megan. She made all this mess. It's her Anthony, fault. Help! What should I do? Climb down. Get to the drain pipe and climb down. Come on, come on. Do it. I mean, it's better to break your leg than die from the fire. Come on, come on. Oh. What the hell? This is brutal. I mean, the whole family just died. Oh no, now he's gonna think this was all his fault because he... Uh, 
wanted to do to heat up the water. intro is pretty cool, I like the music. Hello. Hello. And welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, right. <laughs> this nothing. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Really thought we could save anyway, somebody there. Look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe, and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts, so much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. What a great advice. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. It sounds like somebody else but is making the rules of what he is allowed to, to do and what not. Words from mm -hmm. Great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may oh, black or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. <laughs> have fun at the funeral, right? I do enjoy a good funeral. It's very humorous.
None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Oh, that's a boyfriend, right? I wonder what he is holding in his hand. Some kind of sign. Maybe keychain. Yeah, maybe. Or a clock. It's your turn. This is Andrew. Okay. So they look alike, but they are not the same. Oh. Okay. Taylor, 22, college student. Head strong, John. 43, college Where professor, the hell is Daniel? rational. I can't find him. I don't know. Who is ah! Daniel? Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? <laughs> How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? <laughs> Why don't you try calling for help? Maybe the cops, someone like that. Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help, sure thing, Professor. Good job you're here. <laughs> yeah, he's very commanding, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Nobody inside. No bus driver. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap! May as well be dead. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. Whoa. You got catapulted Ugh. out of that bus and fell Ugh. like... What's that? Five meters? Oh, that's Daniel. 20. College student. Amiable. Fuck. Defensive. least flashlight yeah <laughs> what a coincidence mature student 48 <laughs> a very hey. mature student <laughs> hey daniel that you john good to hear you daniel taylor you okay i'm good we're fine too thanks for asking you okay down there i'm all Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Oh, I think nope. John was sitting no in the front. Weird. He I think I've seen either. the back of his Can head you get when back up to the us? crash happened. Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down doesn't here. Doesn't seem drive. like he saw Great. anything. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> oh. Hey, Taylor, help me get Andrew up on his feet, will you? Wait, I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's OK. <laughs> yeah. You're concussed. I'm John, you're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> Uh, we'll find the others. So maybe that's Get Anthony already, right? Think of he, it as a character after he ran into exercise. the house, he woke up here. Mm. And 
Of course he doesn't know those people, right? Teamwork at its finest. But wait, it should dream. be Andrew, so, so only his soul. Yeah. Flames Maybe all inside around yeah. Andrew's body. That's what I'm talking Grim. about. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. I don't think leaving the bus is smart. I'm staying here. You can't stay. No one's been down this road since we crashed. No one knows we're here. Who puts Where's you in driver? charge? <laughs> Shouldn't we be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. You're right. Let's go. I'm with you. I'm right? <laughs> if we get help, the quicker we can all go home. I think Stick close behind. he has a crush on Taylor. He, he liked it really well that she told him he's right. I can't believe the driver just taking off like that and ditching us. Maybe he didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? <laughs> what are you two doing down not there? Not a guy? No. The trail is the pits. Yeah, okay. I'm not a guy. I'm this a mature student. Is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here. Your clothes are ruined. Really? Didn't she just say she's fine and now she's complaining about her clothes? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. My money's in the green. Don't you worry. Money. That's what she wants to hear about. Hey, <laughs> what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. I guess it fell out during the crash. Are we staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. See ya. Bye bye. Oh, that's the little girl. Oh, there's something on the bottom there. What's that? Looks some kind of, like some kind of doll. Oh, you're kidding me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. <laughs> Actually, you're nearly right. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus. This really is a evil night full spirits. of nightmares. John seems to know this stuff really well. John, I guess that's Anthony. Maybe. No, but in the subtitles Andrew. it said John, John, right? Yeah, so Andrew was standing next to her. Hmm. Okay. But <clears throat> the voice wasn't John's or So the subtitles must be wrong. Hmm. Um, Welcome I to Abandoned Hope. Hmm. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I have yeah, this place? Should, Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. <laughs> how, how do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Great comeback from the professor. He liked that I was curious about his life. Yeah. <laughs> takes all the attention he can get. <laughs> Good to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We Maybe took the scenic route. They will be sure as hell put down sweet time. <laughs> I was getting worried. Maybe. I bet you were. This gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. 
Think this will do it? Maybe. <laughs> Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Yeah, of course he knows. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? <laughs> I'm starting not to like you. I really or like her sarcasm. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? <laughs> Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. So Angela doesn't seem to like Taylor at all. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? Okay. Nah, <laughs> he knows what that means. <laughs> I still think the smart move is for us all to stick but together. But John Glad we is didn't stick it. together after we no. like, <laughs> rescue your ass. You get lost? No. <laughs> We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going on here. Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. What are you trying to say? That you've lost it. It's not possible. Look, I don't know what you're What's trying he doing? to do here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Whoa. Hey, careful. Watch out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. <laughs> hello, hello. Haven't seen you in a while. I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. Oh, so whenever right. they walk into we the fog, they just away from you. come back. So, so they just can't leave the place. Here. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. I like John here. Yeah. You want to put us on a kid's line? It's okay, up for okay, trying I'm something coming. to find out what's happening. And they're back. I admit that is a little odd. Very odd. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. I'd be wondering if I okay. were dead, Calm if down, I was them. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. What's happening with their voices? Yeah, I didn't know. Nice theory, but, but I'm pretty sure we're strange. all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. <laughs> now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking yeah. real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. Yeah, it's no time to blame Figure each other. Figure way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job. Andrew John. Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. 
We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? Yeah. This mm -hmm. isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus Good helps. idea. <laughs> there is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. They can't get back in to town, the bus. <laughs> there will be people, a working phone, That's something. why they have to go into town. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after. <laughs> You know, cable show. Die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Black cat. Oh, there's a house with lights on. I don't like the look of that place at all. Maybe they won't ask for ID. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in. Good and take idea. We should definitely go, go inside ahead. and we'll be right behind see. You. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like between we've got us? no other bigger <laughs> shit to deal with tonight? This okay. is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is on to us. She knows. She knows. What did you two talk about? She was digging around like she always does. Looks like they are afraid of Angela. Yeah. But why? So why are but they I'm hiding their relationship wants, from Angela? Crazy. That's weird. Maybe she likes him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? <laughs> I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. Yeah, yeah, no one will see you. Are you standing here all yeah, night? Yeah, that's or so we obvious. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows probably, so might as well tell them. What was that? Is that an arrow? <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. I'm playing the professor. Oh, this place looks empty. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're like trapped? this guy is lost? Like this. <laughs> doesn't even. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. Doesn't realize people are talking up. to him. We're still a lot shaken up. He certainly looks shook up. He looks Vince. shaken hey, up as well. There's one here not covered in twenty years. Of Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not. Thanks. I need to keep a clear head. <laughs> I right think John, uh, John wants a drink. But wait a second, maybe it was the person who hasn't been drinking for several days. And yeah. if you drink now, that would be a bad idea. Yeah, I Not don't think me. drinking is a good idea. If he's Why drunk, he maybe later he Little won't be as good as in surviving. Curious, maybe. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. <laughs> and that's, that's the right word. Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. Maybe puzzled. Why are you still here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. <laughs> no, we don't, because we can't leave the place. Anyway, I can't help you. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's harmless, just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. <laughs> so we're allowed to uh, do anything in this place? Is that what he's, he's telling us? An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's time to play darts. <laughs> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Funny. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. <laughs> Shooting for double 20. Okay, let's go. We can do that. Okay, so you can play a little. <laughs> Still got it. Just a little. Now for triple 20. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is yeah. one hell of a shot. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You did better about. than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came I in I should here. try to go to the Olympics, you know. <laughs> Can we talk to this guy again? Talk to Vince. Okay, who's Vince? It's probably the guy at the bar, right? Nothing. Fuck. Yeah. Let's talk. I thought he had Got anything a else? Heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Just Who's die. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be great. Yeah, Lord. just help <laughs> no us. No goddamn us. Huh? What's he mean? Uh, no goddamn us. That's weird. Traits updated. Alright. Is there anything over here? Those guys are just chilling. There's something on the table. Newspaper. Meeting votes for disincorporation. 
Right, so all of them lost their job, it seems. Then they left the town. Astrology, Astrology spirits, or ghosts? Are you children interested in? <laughs> Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left hand path to delinquency and satanism. So, uh -huh. so I think that's the church, right? Mm -hmm. He was trying to. What's this? These guys could be Are you okay? <laughs> Are these soldiers leaving? One more time, let's have a look. Yeah, I can't zoom in, unfortunately. Mm. It was automatic. Mm? Alright, I don't think there's anything hey, in here. This way. Let's get out of here and... It sounds like a clock tower. I definitely heard something. A charge? Did... Yeah. You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was, came from outside. Really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks for your help, Vince. <laughs> and he's gonna play a round of darts. So your turn one more time. Yes. I'm lucky. The black Two in a row. It's coming Very from fitting the name. Did the old fucker just lock us out? <laughs> that was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. He's preparing for the zombies to, to come out. Up. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's see, is there anything over here? Look, look. Okay. So Vince is back at drinking. What a douche. Locked us out, didn't help us. Oh, there's something in the distance. Postcard? It's a picture. Oh, that looked like a monster, right? Mm -hmm. And on the picture, it looks like a cauldron, you know, what witches use to make their potions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. If we find a gun, it might help us against the creature we will face, right? Hmm. So maybe this means if we find a gun, we should take it. Museum. Oh, Massacre Memorial, execution site. That's definitely where parents should take their children for a nice um, sightseeing tour. Little town, little hope town map. And then at the end, they'll take a drink at the black the right cat. Way. Okay. This looks like a theme park map, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not like a town map. I mean, why would there be toilets? Okay, what is number two? That's the school. So the next stop. Could be the school, then the police station. All right. Tilly Johnson home. Why would they point out where Tilly Johnson is living? 
sounds like an orphanage, to be honest. Nothing here. Angela l was still looking at Vince. <laughs> Maybe she fell in love. I have a bad feeling about this. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears, it's not natural. Yeah, the fog was really weird. Can you two make an effort to keep up? <laughs> the little girl is back, it seems. Should we go looking for her? <laughs> Oh, it looks like the girl from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. Yeah. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't buy it. Fine. Don't believe me. You two. We need to <gasps> what stick What the close. hell is that? That looked really weird. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. Oh. Should we go looking inside? Mm -hmm. No, we can't. For a moment, I thought somebody hey, standing wait, there, but it's just a road sign. What is that? Quite famous song. Hey, come and check this out. What on earth is that? What's that? No Fireplace? Clue. Oh, it's a doll. Voodoo doll. Uh oh. <laughs> Not good. And the needle is through the heart, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. <coughs> oh she is. What is your name, sir? Let's be um, polite. Andrew? Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Yeah. Would you Both have a come needle through the heart. Come play. Come play what with me. What witch's Mary. trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. <laughs> Else Amy out here by the Mary. fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. 
I saw them too. Are you okay? <laughs> this place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. Yeah. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. <laughs> I saw a girl dancing right here. Angela is the best. Her name was Mary. Angela and Terry. Exactly like the girl in my dream. Their humor is the best. She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? <laughs> Thought not. She still doesn't want to go to town, right? <laughs> Looks like he's dancing by all by himself. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't <laughs> help you. Yeah, you Remember? told us already. We sometimes this is glass congratulate empty. ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. <laughs> Drinking air, so it seems. After death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. What yeah, does she want? No, kiss and tell. What does she want? John? Something from Taylor? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head. Biggest twist of the game. Let Taylor you. and Angela you are a couple. <laughs> So far, so good. You're doing well. Thank you. That fellow in the bar. He was less than helpful. More than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope. And souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find... The bus driver. Mm. 